Today on our 2014 Honda CRV, we're doing a test fit of the Inno Aero Crossbars. The part number for the crossbars we're using is INXB108-2. For the foot pack we have here, it's INSX200. And for the fit kit for our CRV, the part number is INK413. <clears throat> now we already have our front bar on. We're going to show you how we put this last foot pack together and then how we mount the crossbar. So the first thing we'll do is take the foot pack and we've already got our plate in place. So we're just going to slip that on and then adjust it until it pops down into place. I've already tightened down this side. We're first gonna measure out that spread before we tighten down that bolt in there. We want 35 and 7 eighths inches between the two. So we're just a little off. So we're just gonna keep adjusting until it is in the right spot. And then we can take our included Allen key and again with this bolt here, we'll just tighten that down. So the foot pack is here and it stays in place. Now we'll take our rubber bottom. We're just gonna fit that on the bottom of the foot pack. And we'll take our clamp, undo our bolt here on the end, place on our clamp and then tighten that bolt down. I do about five turns just so it keeps that clamp in place. And we can open the doors to our vehicle. And we'll set our crossbar on and then we can measure out the crossbar spread. I'm just gonna readjust these just so they're sitting on there, loose and kind of in the right position. Now from the inner door jam here to the middle of our crossbar, we're gonna have 48 centimeters. So we're just gonna adjust each side one at a time. So they're both at the right measurement. And now we'll double check this side. This is just to make sure that our bars are evenly spaced on both sides to fit our accessories and mount them so we know that our accessories are sitting in the same spots. All right, and with those in the same spot, we can take our included torque tool and we can start tightening these down. I'm gonna tighten it down just so the clamp is sitting right up against the door frame. And with those in the spots, I'll just head back and forth, tightening down about five turns on each side until it's even. The reason why we do it evenly on each side is so the bar doesn't pull one way or the other and our foot pack doesn't lift up in the back. One thing you may notice about the rubber feet and the foot pack is that we do have a gap here, right under there where that lip is. That is supposed to be there. And you don't have to worry about your foot pack being loose. 
since we do have that clamp, it does sit in there the correct way. It's just for any rain or weather to be able to get out from underneath your rain channel or your weather channel there. Now it may get a little harder to turn, but you want to keep turning. You'll hear a noise, kind of like a gas cap closing whenever it pops when you cover up. So that'll be the same kind of noise. That's when you know you have enough torque behind your bolts and that your crossbars are secure, just like that noise there. And with that, we can take our locking covers and we'll secure those in place. Now a great additional feature is that if you have anything loaded in the T-track here, that's actually going to secure that in place as well because nobody will be able to take your accessory out at the same time with those end caps locked. And with those in place, that's going to complete our look at the Inno Aero crossbars and how they fit on our 2014 Honda CRV.